He did get a cafe con leche and he doesn't look too happy. Morning and welcome back to our channel. So today we're going to do a coffee tasting in Colombia where the best of the best coffee is. So we're going to go to different cafes today and rate their coffee. So stay tuned. We've recently rented out this car right here. Funny story though, I didn't realize it was a stick shift before renting it and Clay here had to learn how to drive stick shift. Now I can do it though. He could do it now. He had to learn though. And, and this is not the place to learn stick shift because mm -hmm. it's in the mountains and it's hilly and there's traffic and it's really crazy drivers. A lot of motorcyclists too and there's so many hills like if you haven't driven stick shift before hills are like a big obstacle especially if you stop. Oh, it's a one. Look at the little one. Bye. Bye. So we're here at Ricas Arepas, trying their coffee. So first coffee review. How is it? It's good. Yeah? Yeah, it's great. Well, I got a choclo arepa and it's the best one I've ever had. So good. That one gets a 10 out of 10. I'm gonna rate their coffee. It's very light, which I like. I'd give it like a, a seven, a seven. Seven and a half. For, this comes to be about 10 bucks in American dollars. We got a choclo arepa. Chloe got a big plate of meats and we got two coffees and a water. So now we're gonna check out this little place that we walked by the other day. It's like a nursery and also has a cafe inside. So let's go see. So we just ordered our coffees and I just want to show you guys how cute this little cafe is. It's all like outdoors too. It's so sweet that this is like a nursery and also a cafe at the same time. Super nice. Just got our coffee and I got this lemon poppy seed cake which looks amazing. Pretty good. Not bad. Oh, okay. Let's try the cake. Very good. We had to come back because the barista was so nice and he wanted to make us a special coffee. This is the honey process. Hay una extracción principal que es la gota. Pero si usted las paredes de del Chemex, de del frasco, por ejemplo, acá hay una lágrima, un lagrimal. Wow. Y mire que acá. Wow. Science, como una ciencia. Thank you. Very good. Today I got a chai. So I am going to have some of this chai that our favorite barista made for me. There's this little flower where that aguardiente, which is like the alcoholic beverage here in Medellin, comes from. And it's in my chai. So let's see how it is. Oh my god. It's so good. It's so sweet. It's so gentle perfectly spiced. This here is the best chai ever. So the barista here was super cool. He's going to share a little bit about different organic plants they use to make coffee and beverages here. Bueno, mi nombre es Juan Felipe Rodríguez. Estamos acá en Llano Grande, Antioquia. Eh, yo soy barista. Me encanta el tema del café. Me encanta el tema de las especias, el tema de los de los té. El día de hoy les quiero enseñar Eh, las flores de anís eh, secas ya, deshidratadas, naturales. Se las quiero enseñar porque, por ejemplo, este producto, la amapola, la canela original, la vaina eh, de las vainillas originales, eh, con todos esos productos trabajamos acá. Antioquia es el mejor productor de café suave del mundo y el día de hoy probaron un origen paneloso y espero que hubiera sido de todo el gusto de ustedes que para mí es un placer atenderlos el día de hoy por acá acá somos muy formales y por acá lo esperamos Sí, claro, aquí en Llano Grande el lugar se llama M Taller de Panadería M, ahí está Go to M, guys <laughs> We're looking for some nice flowers to buy now. This plant over here is called Planta de Huevo. 
eggplant. <laughs> Look at that. Look at Clay. He got me some flowers. For Valentine's Day, even though here they don't celebrate it till September. <laughs> These ones over here, they're called pesitos. That means little kisses. So, we just came back from our two cafe experiences. And honestly, my favorite one was... Shoot, I'm so bad with names. I forgot what it was called already. <laughs> Ede? Ehe? Shoot. The prices in the cafe shop that we went to, the cafe nursery place, we got cake and two little coffees for 15,000 pesos and that comes to be $5. And that's like also like expensive here, you know? But tomorrow we're gonna go to two or three more and share that experience with you. We're gonna be going to Juan Valdez Cafe. Also, it's raining right now. And there are some birds over there. Chakalakas. <laughs> Those are the birds that wake us up in the morning. The chicka 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 birds. Chakalakas. Hey guys, so we just got two... Jardines. Jardines. Llano Grande, which is like a little mall. A really cute little mall. A little in mall our in area. a little town. In a little town. And here they're going to have a Starbucks. We're going to try Starbucks. And they also have Juan Valdez coffee, which is like the Colombian Starbucks. Can I have some alcohol in my hand? Here we are. Juan Valdez cafe. Going to try their coffee. So we got our coffees. I got a mocha and Clay got a cafe con leche. Like a latte. Solid. Our total here is 12,300 pesos, which is about $4. It tastes like the last time, like the nostalgic feeling of the last time we came to Colombia and had the Juan Valdez coffee. It's got its own unique flavor. It's very nice. I'm going to try my mocha now. Let's see. Hot. Hot but tasty. It could be a little sweeter for my liking because I like sweet stuff. But it's solid. Like you can tell the coffee in here is good it cools quality. down. Heat mask flavor. I give it a 7.5 out of 10. I, I give mine an 8. I'm going into the Starbucks now. We're gonna get some coffee. From the queso, that's Colombian. So I got a caramel macchiato just because I'm tired of drinking so much coffee today. But Clay did get a cafe con leche and he doesn't look too happy. No, unfortunately, this actually is really good. Really? Yeah, might even be better than the Juan Valdez. <laughs> I usually hate Starbucks in America. And I think in Colombia, it's different. They do something different? They make it much better. Okay, let's give it a go. Okay, this does not taste like American Starbucks no, at all. No, this is much better, huh? It's so much lighter, like the roast is so much lighter. It's not sour at all. It's not bitter, yeah. It's so good. I actually want it, but I can't drink milk, so. I got my caramel macchiato. It looks really presentable. It looks just like the one in LA. So I just want to talk a little about my macchiato. Usually in LA, their espresso shot is way too strong that like I only like drinking the sweet part and then when it gets to the bitter part, I'm like, okay, I'm done. Here, their espresso shot is actually really nice and I feel like I could just drink the whole thing. The only thing really holding me back is the fact that I got it with almond milk because I just don't like the taste of it. But, almond milk sucks. <laughs> so I give this like a, I give this an 8.5. It would be a 10 if it didn't have almond milk and if it had oat milk instead. So the total was 19,400. That comes to be around a little under $7, so like six something. So it's cheaper than LA, but expensive for Colombia. So tell us what you would rate your Starbucks coffee here. It's like a nine. Starbucks gets the highest rating, everyone. Yeah. Starbucks wins. It kills me to say it. <laughs> it really does, he hates it. Very good job, Starbucks. So Clay is getting me some flowers. It's really weird though, it's called the farm to pay. And you just put in the money in this little box and there's nobody here like watching. So you could just take it, I guess. I got my Valentine's Day flowers. Good. Hi again, so funny story. I totally forgot to record the outro on that last day where we did the coffee tasting. Now we have moved to Medellin and we're in our apartment now. So a lot has happened ever since then. But I do want to mention my favorite drink we had was the chai latte from Emme. The barista also makes a killer coffee. The atmosphere was beautiful. Everything about that place was amazing. So I really recommend you guys go to Emme, outskirts of Medellin in the city of Llano Grande. So 
that for me it won i also want to mention um i was talking to clay about this and he said that he did really dig the starbucks here of course he was very upset about that because he does not like starbucks in a way we ended up going to ma afterwards after starbucks and that's when we got the the special coffee that our friend juan made so that was actually his favorite coffee so i just wanted to let you guys know thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe have a lovely lovely day